All right, I'm here with uh, three key components to this Hopper Horse on Victory Night against Wissa Hicken. 40 to 37 victory. Uh, big fall uh, counted for at the end of this match at 113 pounds uh, with Shabam Railcar right here next to me. Uh, First uh, time in the spotlight here, uh, Shabam. Tell us a little bit about that match. Well, I mean, I, I knew I had to do that. I mean, we made mistakes going in, but I mean, Logan and Orion, the one six and two we decided they picked up. You know, got their, got their pins, majored it, and then uh, I just didn't have to do that. Right, it gave you an opportunity to win that match. Yeah. Did you, were you thinking fall the whole time? Or yeah, I was thinking six in the corner. What Coach Montgill would tell you prior? You just said, you just get, get points. Get, get points. points. Coach Juan Gill, this is kind of your first big signature win here. I know uh, we're sick and some rain champs coming in. Both you guys kind of struggling a little bit out of the gate here in your dormies, but now it kind of opens this SOL market right up. Um, tell us a little bit about this victory and, and what you see down the road here. I think we're finally seeing uh, the success from our room on the mat, um, you know, in front of uh, a fan base when we're competing. Um, you know, we're working hard every day. Wissa Hicken's kind of been the team in the SOL American that we've been trying to beat. Um, you know, last year we came up short, uh, not only in the duel, but also uh, in the tournament. And, uh, you know, we're kind of working hard to, to try to, to win this league um, and to be the dominant team in this league. Um, so, you know, we're, we're putting the time in, watching film, um, working on the nuanced things, drilling, 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 uh, and finding better positions and, and better success for our wrestlers on the mat uh, to win. You know, whether it's a, a starter, uh, whether we have injuries, whether we have to forfeit, I mean, the kids know very well the, the mat awareness of what they need to do uh, to achieve victory as a team and as an individual. In terms of the toss-up um, and the coin, you know, the coin toss and the toss-up bounce, did you get the matchups you wanted there? I know you had Wood on Sam and, yeah. and Flynn on uh, Keller, and it kind of worked out for you. I thought um, uh, Wood did a real nice job there on Sam and, and of course, Logan getting the win. Uh, what was your mindset going in? Uh, I mean, we wanted even from the jump. We wanted to get that choice. We uh, we got both decisions that we wanted uh, in terms of who they sent out um, with Salmon coming out against Wood. I thought Jake would have had a little bit more uh, to wrestle and certainly going to make for an exciting. Uh, league tournament, uh, you know, when we host on January 25th uh, for them to get a rematch. Uh, hopefully it's a better effort for us on that part, uh, but getting Keller on Flynn was exactly what we wanted all night. Um, we were talking about it, you know, all week. Uh, to get that match up and Logan, you know, not only wrestled well, but you know, he made sure to stay qualified. Yeah, and you know, you guys had given up a major point earlier in that match, and Logan went out and got it at the end. Um, Logan, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, that match going in. I mean, obviously, you took control off of those poor shots by Keller early, and then at the end, you went and got your own. Um, yeah, so I mean, it was just it was just wrestling, like mentally for me, you know, working on, you know, just mentally getting that getting that edge on him. So when he was taking a bad shot, I was getting to him. He was, you know, he was in a bad position. I was throwing him. I was getting my back points. I was doing whatever I had to do to get the points I needed. So that way, the match was out of his control and just out wrestling him. I just wrestled on as hard as I could, so that way he was he, he had no no choice but to just give up. So what's that like for you now, looking at the 220 and 285 pound weight class right now? Where do you see yourself kind of wrestling the remainder of the season um, to the post? I see myself kind of bouncing back and forth. Uh, you know, being a being a little short uh, up top on our team. You know, I I'm gonna wrestle where uh, the team needs me. So if that's a 285. I'm going to wrestle at 285. If they need me at 220, I'm going to wrestle at 220. So wherever this team needs me at, I'm going to wrestle at that spot to uh, do the best I can for my team. All right, you guys got to tell me a little funny story. Someone's got to tell a funny story about Coach Montgill in the room. Who's got one? I think it's going to be you, Shabon. What do you got? All right, so the mat, the mat kind of makes like a, like a farting sound. <laughs> so it's a, it's a shoes and then... But I think Logan would have more because he's he coach more. So. Oh, I think that's you, you've been inappropriate enough to bomb. Uh, all right, so what we want to do right now is we want to congratulate Logan Flynn for being the wrestler of the match, sponsored by ASICS and Schuylkill Valley Sports, our uh, our partnership with PAWrestling.com. So we're going to give you this shirt, and it's awesome because it says PAWrestling.com Wrestler of the Week District 1. There you go, brother. Thank, Thank you. All right, so congratulations to the Hatters. Fun. Good win. Nice job. Bob, Logan, good win. Thank you. All right. Thanks.